Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued a circular regarding the 1,443 Hijri New Year holiday. The circular stipulates that the Kingdom's ministries, agencies and official institutions will be closed on Monday, 9th of August 2021, corresponding to the 1st of Muharram. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the outgoing ambassador of Nepal, Padam Sandas, at Ghaibiya Palace to mark the end of his tenure in Bahrain. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of continuing to develop the strong ties to, that exist between the two countries. He commended the efforts of the ambassador in furthering the bilateral relations and wished him success in his future endeavors. The ambassador expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and expressed his appreciation for His Royal Highness his support throughout his tenure and his commitment to fostering good relations between the two countries. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, was also in attendance. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fuziya Zainal, received Ritaj Ibrahim Al Abbasi, a student from Al Hajj Secondary School for Girls, who won the presidency of the Arab Child Parliament in its second session. The Speaker congratulated the student for this honorable achievement that is a gain for the Kingdom in light of the comprehensive development march of His Majesty the King, hailing the high attention from the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for the Bahraini youth by providing them with all the necessary capabilities and support to achieve their their aspirations and highlight their talents, enabling them to serve their community and represent their country abroad. Zainal affirmed the Parliament's keenness on enhancing parliamentary culture among all segments of society, especially the youth, noting that the Parliament continues to provide programs and activities to raise societal awareness on parliamentary work. The Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh also received the student Ritaj Ibrahim Al Abbasi. The chairman affirmed that the capabilities that the youth of Bahrain continue to achieve leading positions on national and international levels which reflect the success of ambitious national strategies aimed at developing the youth. The chairman congratulated the student on gaining the trust of the Arab Child Parliament, affirming that her victory and her obtaining 52% of the votes is an honorable achievement for the kingdom. He highlighted the role of the Arab Child Parliament in consolidating validating the concepts and principles of constructive dialogue among children, educating them to exercise their rights and perform their duties. The President of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdul Hussain Mirza, received a delegation from Quantum Age Company to discuss the possibility of opening the first headquarters for the company in the Middle East here in Bahrain. Dr. Mirza affirmed that Bahrain's ability in attracting huge investments reflects the investment environment of the kingdom and its strategic location. He praised the role of the company in the information and technology field, as well as health, education, energy, agriculture and AI. Dr. Mirza then delivered a presentation on the national plans for renewable energy, as well as the possible achievements that could be made by opening the headquarters in Bahrain, which go in line with the comprehensive development visions of His Majesty the King. The first vice chairman of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Khalid Najibi, participated in the joint Bahraini-Russian Business Council meeting. He stressed the strength of the Bahraini-Russian economic relations and the importance of bolstering them as well as the means to consolidate them in various fields. He noted Bahrain's potential and its distinguished geographical location, which makes it the optimal gateway for Russia to promote its products in the Gulf, Arab and North African countries. He expressed confidence that the private sector in the two countries will seize promising opportunities in the fields of food, water, health and technology security, stressing the sincere desire of the officials to deepen economic cooperation with Bahrain. Najibi affirmed that the Council's work results are of great importance to commerce in the two countries. We have this meeting uh, today as a part of um, uh, global relationships between uh, Russia and Bahrain. And uh, in the first run, uh, we're very much encouraged by the level of uh, political dialogue uh, between our, our countries. The visits of His Royal Majesty the King of Bahrain to Russia, uh, uh, which took place uh, almost every year, uh, excluding uh, this pandemic time, uh, those visits and uh, uh, official talks with uh, our le leadership uh, gives us um, a very good example of uh, 
fraternal and very constructive uh, dialogue. And of course, we businessmen, uh, we have to be in line with uh, that sort of uh, formal and informal contacts on various level. Uh, and uh, uh, our task, our mission is to get together businessmen from uh, our countries and to further uh, enhance uh, relationships in various spheres of economy. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,109,612 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,057,053 had taken the second and 148,108 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 998 with 125 recoveries and 117 registered new cases. 46 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 58 are contacts of active cases and 13 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.